Hey folks, Colin Richards here. I'm Denver's Biblical Investment Advisor, and I'm excited to be talking to you today about how you can employ methods and strategies in your portfolio, retirement, and financial independence planning so that you can prosper through both good times and bad. We're at a period of all-time market highs, and a lot of folks are getting concerned. When is the music going to stop? Well, I'd love to chat with you and discuss your specific questions today. Give us a call at 720-372-0400. Again, that's 720-372-0400. Or check out our Lord & Richards Investment Advisory Team at lordandrichards.com. Well, today we're going to be talking about this very important principle. It is better to prepare than repair. It is better to prepare than repair. And what I'm talking about today is the imminent likelihood of a market correction. Now, I don't know exactly when or how the markets are going to respond, but what I do know is this, is that according to the Word of God, we're to manage the wealth that God has entrusted to us as a steward, not as an owner, but as a steward. If you look at our website at lordandrichards.com, you're going to find that Lord and Richards has five underlying biblical principles that inform our financial planning and that are designed to help you become financially independent so that you can do more for the kingdom of God in those wonderful years we often call retirement. But part of getting there and getting safely through that time of life is adopting this principle about risk, managing risk as a steward, not being a gambler. The Bible says in Proverbs 13, verse 11, wealth gained hastily will dwindle but whoever gathers it little by little will increase it. That's great advice, right? We told our kids this as we raised them. We explained to them that, you know, there's there's a lot of get rich quick schemes out there and the vast majority of them are really get poor quick schemes, right? And we've all, you know, we've all made mistakes financially growing up and in, even in our adult years and had to learn sometimes the hard way. But I'd like to encourage you today to learn the easy way. (laughs) Let's look at what the Bible says about risk, not trying to gain wealth quickly by taking unnecessary risk, literally gambling, with what God has entrusted to you in the form of your retirement portfolio. You see, that's a tremendous resource that God has allowed you to accumulate over the years so that during these later in life years, you can dedicate yourself more fully to the people that you love, the causes that you love, such as the church and such as expanding God's kingdom, as well as doing the things that you love and going the places that you love. It's not all work. Sometimes there's going to be play, right? And we want you to be able to enjoy that. That's part of our definition at Lord & Richards of financial independence. Being free financially to do those things and to be involved with those people and to love those things that you want to do during these later years in life. So let's talk a little bit about this topic of being prepared as opposed to repairing after a market correction. Uh, We've got a lot going on in the news these days. Um, Markets keep establishing new highs. Both my clients and the general public are asking me on a regular basis, Colin, what do you think about what's going on in the markets? And what I think is that things aren't really on sale right now, right? If you're a value shopper, if you shop at uh, stores that offer discounts like Ross or TJ Maxx or Dollar Store or Walmart, wherever it is that you shop for a value, you're looking for that wonderful sale or clearance or low price sign. And we're just not seeing that sign on the market right now. I liken the market's level today and the price of stocks today uh, like shopping at Saks Fifth Avenue (laughs) or Neiman Marcus. And I'm not talking about Nordstrom Rack, right? I know my wife tells me there's deals there. But I'm talking about paying full price in a market that has been driven upward, upward, upward. And we're seeing some valuations of the market exceeding 30 times earnings, the price to earnings ratio, which is a helpful guide in determining whether you're getting a good value for stocks is way out of proportion. 
uh, compared to the historical levels of the market. So there's no doubt in my mind that the markets are priced very high and values are hard to come by. As a matter of fact, I've got some billionaires at my back. Uh, men like Warren Buffett uh, and Berkshire Hathaway have uh, $100 billion sitting on the sidelines. You know, Warren Buffett has often been quoted as saying, you know, it, it'd be better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than to buy a fair company at a wonderful price. So this is somebody who's been willing, you know, to to slice it pretty thin, but yet unwilling even in this market to take the plunge on a lot of these overpriced companies. So that means that we're seeing a lot of investors uh, who believe that the market is tilting toward a correction. Uh, there's been numerous articles throughout the fall. Uh, one of those in Fox Business just a couple months ago pointed out that 54% of investors are expecting a correction. So we're starting to tilt towards a little bearish attitude. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that in just a moment. But if you're just jumping on, this is Colin Richards at Lord & Richards. We are Denver's biblical investment advisor, serving clients throughout the front range hundreds of folks who have entrusted to us uh, the development of a comprehensive financial strategy to help you get to and through retirement. We call that financial independence. And it's critical that you build into your financial independence roadmap a strategy that will address risk. And that's what we're talking about today. And if you'd like to talk more with us about that, uh, there's a couple of opportunities we have for you. One, we regularly meet with the community uh, out in libraries and colleges here. Our, our next upcoming event is taking place at the Highlands Ranch Library on January 11th and 16th. We'll also be in Lone Tree uh, that following week. And if you'd like to just sit down in a wonderful educational environment, meeting with folks just like you and being able to ask questions about topics of interest to you about retirement and Social Security, give us a call at 720-372-0400. Write this number down, 720 372 0400 chat with our team who will be delighted to set you up we can meet there and have a wonderful conversation about your retirement future and you know one of the hot topics today about the timing and when to take social security again that's 720-372-0400 so coming back to our topic then as the so-called experts, the billionaires, are beating a path to the sidelines. And uh, there was an article about this, uh, again, just a few months ago in Market Watch, where we learned that not only is Warren Buffett uh, very concerned by his actions, but men like Howard Marks, who uh, wrote a note uh, at the end of the summer this year, he's the founder of Oak Tree Capital, and he said, you know, people need to be concerned about the formation of a po possible bubble here and the importance of caution. And he's particularly clear that aggressive investors who are, are willing to take risks and fund risky deals and create risky market conditions are creating problems that are going to come back to haunt us. And along with him, just a, a whole variety of other uh, big names, David Tepper, uh, the hedge fund guru behind Appaloosa Management, Paul Singer of Elliott Management, all of these are concerned about a potential market correction. So I keep using that term, a market correction. What do I mean? Well, a market correction is simply a period in which the market drops 10% or more from its most recent high. And there have been about 123 of those since the year 1900. So quite a few of those. And we've had uh, far fewer than historic uh, data would suggest over the last decade. Uh, maybe it's because we took such a pounding in the first decade of the year with two major, uh, pardon me, the first decade of the millennium with two major stock market crashes in 2000, extending to 2002, and again in 2007 all the way through the beginning of 2009. We call those bear markets, periods in which the market drops 20% or more. So you have market corrections when the market drops 10% or more. Those are much more frequent, averaging about once a year, believe it or not. So we are well overdue for one of those. And then bear markets, those are bigger drops of 20% or more 
And those historically have happened about every 3.8 years since 1932, the end of the last uh, Great Depression. So they typically last about 21 months. The market is down 20% or more. And uh, the average, you know, is that it's usually around 38, 39% down. So it can be quite bad. As a matter of fact, in 1929, the stock market lost 86.2% of its value compared to what we felt was a devastating crash in 08, 09, where the market only lost 568 But let me tell you, as a person considering retirement, uh, a, a more than 50% loss of your portfolio, would you consider that devastating? Absolutely. And these things are supposed to happen every 3.8 years, running from, you know, anywhere from 20 to 86% losses in the market. Wow, that is incredible. So we want to be prepared for this because there are things that can trigger it. We know rising interest rates can play a part, and the Fed is being extremely cautious and manipulative of the interest rate environment right now and trying to avoid a sudden spurring of a bear market. Uh, Increasing inflation can also have an impact on the markets. A sputtering economy. Well, right now, most of us aren't overly concerned about those things uh, because of what we've experienced over the last year since the election of President Donald Trump. We call it the Trump bump. And I've had people asking, will we ever see the markets go down again? All folks, it's at exactly those moments that you need to begin taking steps and preparing. And that's what we're talking about today. It's better to prepare than repair your portfolio. And so we're going to talk to you a little bit about some solutions as well today and some financial independence tips that you can be taking. One of those tips is don't be lulled to sleep by a steadily rising market. On the one hand, you know, folks are becoming very passive with their investments. This is the time to begin the switch from passive to active. Yes, passive management is a cheap way to invest, right? Just go out and buy a stock market index, an ETF, and let it ride. But it's those very folks who are most likely to not only be impacted by a correction or bear market, but then to flip and panic when it occurs. And that's the flip side. On one hand, being lulled to sleep during periods of steady market growth, and on the other hand, panicking, letting emotions take over when the market actually does correct. Folks, we've got to develop the habit of not letting temporary market conditions derail a long-term plan. But here's what I find. Most people do not have a long-term plan. They have products, they have positions, They might have a spreadsheet of some kind, but none of those make up what we would call a comprehensive financial plan. And this is gonna be critical for you. And so if you'd like to talk to us about what that might mean for you and what a comprehensive plan would involve, we'd love to chat with you at Lord & Richards. Our team of gifted investment advisors are working with folks like you every single day, helping folks across the front range establish financial independence and live and work in a sense of financial freedom during those wonderful retirement years. We'd like to talk to you about that. We offer a complimentary visit where you can sit down and share your goals and your dreams for retirement and let us help you make that a reality. Pick up the phone and give us a call. Here's the number, write this down, 720-372-0400, And you know, we have a number of helpful guides and tips, as well as articles, on our website at lordandrichards.com, where you can explore more about how important this subject of financial independence really is. So if you're just joining us, this is Colin Richards, and we're discussing the critical need to prepare your portfolio as opposed to repair it after a market correction or a bear market. So we've got billionaires lined up on the sidelines. We've got uh, surveys telling us that 54% of investors are expecting a market correction in the near term. And yet what we see is that folks are complacent and portfolios are packed full of risk. The biblical principle we follow at Lord & Richards is this, wealth gotten hastily will diminish, but he who gathers little by little will see it increased. 
That's Proverbs 13 and 11, 13, 11, and really establishes this principle. You need to manage risk in your portfolio as a steward, not an owner. God has entrusted what he has put into your hands in the form of a retirement portfolio as a steward. Develop a strategy to deal with risk. That's critical. That's step number one. We call it rule number one in developing a comprehensive financial plan. <clears throat> At Lord & Richards, we have named that plan a Financial Independence Roadmap for obvious reasons. It's a strategy, a clear roadmap to get you from here today where you are, perhaps taking excessive risk, to a position where you're not emotional or panicky during market corrections. Not because you're just turning a blind eye, but because you have developed a plan to deal with it. We call it a risk management plan, and it needs to be written down. Here's how you start one, and I'm excited that we can do this for you at absolutely no cost in developing the first step of your comprehensive plan, and that is you need a portfolio stress test, and this is something we at Lord & Richards can provide you at no cost. When folks come in and they share their goals and dreams as we meet for your complimentary second opinion, uh, we, when we sit down We take a look at your portfolio and we do a a deep dive into that portfolio at no charge to you. And so we'll take all of your positions, prepare a report, and we're going to run a thousand different lives across your, your positions, first of all, to determine if you lived a thousand lives, how many of those lives would be successful in retirement. We'll actually show you the percentage of the time you would be successful depending on a variety of market conditions. And then on the other hand, we're gonna put put your portfolio under stress and show you what would happen if you went through another loss like 2008, 2009. If you own those same positions today and that happened again, what would it look like? We call that a portfolio stress test and it's absolutely a vital first step to preparing for a market correction or a bear market. If you don't know what to expect, how can you prepare for it? You know, folks, were there people who did well in 2008? Maybe some folks who didn't lose much, if any money? Or maybe some folks who actually prospered during that time? Let me ask you this. Do you think those folks prepared at the last minute or just took what came in stride? Or do you think those folks who prospered or who didn't lose money during that period tended to be the folks who put a plan in place in advance? Well, you've got it. You need to build a comprehensive written plan to address market risk. And that starts with a complimentary portfolio stress test. And we'd love to put one together for you. Pick up the phone and call our wonderful team at Lord & Richards and we'll sit down together with you and analyze your portfolio at no cost to you and you'll be able to walk out with a clear understanding of exactly how much risk you're taking, whether it's appropriate for somebody your age and with the number of years you have before retirement, and whether it's really something that you're willing to take. Because we find most of our clients uh, share with us that, hey, the risk that I'm carrying in my portfolio is something I wish I didn't have to, and I'd like a path away from that much risk. And that's what we do every single day at Lord & Richards. Give us a call at 720 720- Three seven two zero four hundred. Again, that's seven two zero three seven two zero four hundred. So, as we contemplate being prepared as opposed to having to repair a portfolio, uh, one of the things I think back to is as folks came in to visit with me in two thousand and eight and shared the damage that was being done to their portfolios right into two thousand and nine. Sometimes folks were emotional about it. Tears were shed because they were led to believe that their advisor was quote unquote on top of things, but were simply told, hey, you know, don't worry about it. It's just a correction. It'll bounce right back. Don't worry about it. Um, Buy and hold, grin and bear it, all these expressions. And by the time it was done, folks lost 56.8% of their value if they were heavily invested in stocks. A horrific state of affairs for people nearing retirement or in retirement. Absolutely horrific. Well, here's what you can do now. You're in a wonderful position as the market has set new highs to continue to participate in the growth of the market. But now let's talk about putting a floor under your feet. Developing a multi 
multifaceted strategy for risk management. At Lord & Richards, we combine various elements to bring the risk in your portfolio way down. We liken it to a road. If you visualize a road with the dotted line going down the middle, on one side of the road is a lane that represents risk, and on the other side is a lane that represents opportunity or growth. And what we would all love to see is typically a moderate lane on the left side for risk and a moderate lane on the upside for on the right side for growth. Maybe 6% downside risk on the left side and maybe 6 or 7 or 8% upside opportunity on the right. That's what most people are sharing with me. Most folks aren't coming in saying, hey, Colin, I want 20% returns every year because, of course, you know you've got to deal with tremendous loss potential. But if you visualize that road, do you know what most portfolios I see look like? Well, on the growth side, that road may well be 5 or 6% potential average returns over a long term. If you look at the S&P 500, it's performed less than 4% on average overall annual growth since 2000. Really uh, a devastating impact of two major stock market crashes. And yet we think in our minds because we look at just the last few years that the market is returning 10, 20, 30% every year. It's just not the case. So the typical portfolio that's heavily invested in equities without a comprehensive plan will have a lane running down the right side that allows for upside opportunity averaging 5 or 6%. But would you believe that the, rain, the, the lane on the left side that represents risk is often going to show us 30, 35, 40, 45% potential downside risk if we went through another repeat of 2008? How would that make you feel? To only average 5 or 6%, but yet be vulnerable to a potential 30 to 50% drop? Well, I can tell you that most people express dismay and shock and a desire to take a concrete step away from that kind of plan and develop a more balanced approach, um, an adjusted approach to risk. And here's the cool part. You do not have to give up opportunity to address risk in your portfolio. So let us help you build a comprehensive written plan, a financial independence roadmap, so that whether the market corrects 10% or more, or grows into a, bull, a bear market of 20% or greater losses, you're prepared, you're protected, and of course, you can prosper, whether the times are good or whether the times are bad. So here's what I'd like to encourage you to do. We've got two great opportunities for you. The first is to pick up the phone and give us a call at 720 372 Zero four hundred, and just talk to us today about what's going on in your portfolio, what your goals and dreams are, and uh, to sit down with us and, and visit a little bit about how we might be able to help you achieve those goals and dreams. That's at 720-372-0400, and we're prepared to take your call right now. Secondly, we have workshops coming up in the very near future, right after the first of the year. Sit down at one of our workshops at the Highlands Ranch Library, or at the Lone Tree Library. We've got a couple of those going on the, the second and third weeks of January. And we'd love to talk to you in those wonderful educational settings about how you can be better equipped and prepared for retirement, financial independence, and of course, to have a comprehensive financial independence plan in place that addresses risk and gives you a sense of confidence before a market correction or bear market ever hits. And so if you'd like to attend to one of those, just pick up the phone and give us a call at 720-372-0400. That's 720-372-0400. You know, an economist once said, when the facts change, I change my mind. How about you? Well, what we've discovered is the old rules and the old strategies that people carried into 2008 and 2009 are no longer sufficient to make sure that you survive and thrive in today's turbulent economic environment. Be prepared for what happens in the news. Just a week ago, we saw the market take a quick crash down and bounce back up after a false news report about the president. If something like that can cause markets to swing wildly, then what's going to happen when we see larger and larger political events occurring both in the United States and around the world? Warren Buffett once said, and I, I love to quote him, 
Only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. (laughs) Well, I hope you're not naked in the market. I hope that you have a comprehensive written plan that addresses all the variables of retirement from inflation to market risk to a comprehensive written income plan. And if you don't have that in place, I'd love to talk to you. Give us a call, 720-372-0400. That's Lord & Richards at 720-372-0400.